Welcome, space enthusiasts and curious minds, to another thrilling journey into the cosmos. Today, we're diving deep into the extraordinary world of one of the most influential visionaries of our time. The man who's not just reaching for the stars, but reshaping the way we think about space exploration. Get ready to embark on an exhilarating adventure as we explore the fascinating story of Jeff Bezos and the groundbreaking venture that is Blue Origin. Renowned for his reluctance to grant interviews, Jeff Bezos, the driving force behind Amazon, recently broke his silence by engaging in a comprehensive two-hour discussion with Lex Fridman, a computer scientist and podcaster. This in-depth conversation spanned a wide array of topics, providing a glimpse into Bezos' perspectives on Amazon, Blue Origin, business strategies, and more. While the dialogue may meander at times, it offers a captivating exploration of spaceflight, particularly as the spotlight shifts to Blue Origin. The aerospace company, founded by Bezos over two decades ago, has become the recipient of a substantial investment, estimated to be in the range of $10 billion to $20 billion, emphasizing its status as a deeply personal and ambitious undertaking for Bezos. However, the stark reality remains that, despite its significant workforce of approximately 11,000 employees, comparable to that of SpaceX, Blue Origin has yet to accomplish a single rocket launch this year. This stands in stark contrast to SpaceX, which has achieved nearly 100 launches and played a pivotal role in the construction and deployment of thousands of satellites. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of this conversation, it becomes clear that the narrative surrounding Blue Origin is one of great potential and ambition, yet tinged with the challenges of translating vision into tangible accomplishments within the competitive landscape of space exploration. In the course of the interview, Jeff Bezos openly acknowledged the imperative for Blue Origin to accelerate its pace of progress. He candidly stated, Blue Origin needs to be much faster, and it's one of the reasons that I left my role as the CEO of Amazon a couple of years ago. I wanted to come in and Blue Origin needs me right now. Adding some energy, some sense of urgency. We need to move much faster, and we're going to. As Bezos takes on a more hands-on role within Blue Origin, it signals a pivotal moment for the company. The urgency he speaks of suggests a heightened commitment to overcoming obstacles, streamlining processes, and propelling the company towards its ambitious goals in space exploration. This strategic realignment in leadership aims to foster a culture of innovation, agility, and efficiency within Blue Origin. The acknowledgement of the need for increased speed and efficiency in Blue Origin's operations lays the groundwork for a narrative of resilience and adaptability. Bezos' decision to invest his personal energy and focus on the company he founded over two decades ago serves as a testament to his unwavering belief in its potential and the pivotal role it plays in the future of space exploration. As we navigate through this transformative phase, the story of Blue Origin under Bezos' renewed leadership promises to be a compelling narrative of resilience, determination, and a steadfast pursuit of the stars. Well, the question is, how is Blue Origin going to speed up? Jeff Bezos articulated an ambitious vision for the future, declaring, we're on a mission to become the world's most decisive company, irrespective of industry boundaries. In outlining this strategic trajectory, he underscored the company's commitment to mastering the art of taking calculated technology risks swiftly, fostering the culture that thrives on bold decision-making. According to Bezos, the path to decisiveness lies in cultivating a corporate environment that encourages technical ambition among its workforce. He stressed the importance of cultivating a mindset where, when faced with multiple approaches to a challenge, the emphasis is on a rapid yet thorough evaluation, enabling the organization to make informed decisions promptly. Bezos stated, If there are five ways to do something, we'll study them, but let's go through them very quickly and make a decision. We can always change our mind. When examining Blue Origin, drawing parallels with SpaceX, led by billionaire Elon Musk, becomes nearly inevitable. Jeff Bezos' remarks on the importance of decisiveness are particularly noteworthy, echoing a principle that has been instrumental in SpaceX's triumphs. Elon Musk's decisive approach, where he takes responsibility for crucial decisions during technical discussions, sets the course for SpaceX. 
The company proceeds without hesitation along that chosen path, either achieving success or swiftly recognizing the need for course corrections. The company seems to be poised for concrete outcomes at last. In the interview, Bezos expressed his optimism about achieving orbit, citing the imminent readiness of the company's sizable new Glenn rocket. Bezos, far from downplaying expectations, asserted, I'm very optimistic that the first launch of New Glenn will be in 2024, aligning with recent statements made by another Blue Origin official, Lars Hoffman. Bezos elaborated on the company's focal points, emphasizing not only the preparation of the initial New Glenn rocket at Blue Origin's Florida facility, but also the strategic emphasis on developing the capability to launch two dozen rockets annually. He acknowledged the considerable challenges of rate manufacturing, emphasizing that it is as intricate as the initial vehicle design process. This comprehensive effort encompasses the annual construction of two dozen upper stages, each powered by two B3U engines. Notably, Bezos clarified that the company's immediate plans do not include second stage reuse, underscoring Blue Origin's commitment to building a robust capacity for frequent rocket launches rather than prioritizing stage reusability at this juncture. We're dedicated to optimizing the manufacturing process for the second stage, striving to achieve the utmost cost effectiveness, Bezo stated. When it comes to the second stage, there are essentially two avenues, making it reusable or putting in the effort to minimize costs to the point where expendability becomes affordable. Deciding between these options is not a straightforward trade-off. Each has its complexities. It's noteworthy that in his statements, Bezos did not make reference to the company's ongoing experiments with an experimental reusable upper stage, known as Project Jarvis. Taking a dignified stance when addressing remarks from Elon Musk, who had previously made juvenile insinuations about Bezos, Bezos responded, Well, I don't really know Elon very well. I'm acquainted with his public persona. But understanding anyone solely through their public image is impossible. You may think you do, but I guarantee you don't. In terms of assessing him based on outcomes, he must be a highly capable leader. Having Tesla and SpaceX under his leadership is an undeniable testament to this capabilities. It's impossible to achieve what he has without being a competent leader. And there you have it, space enthusiasts. We've taken an exhilarating journey through the cosmos, unraveling the visionary pursuits of Jeff Bezos and the extraordinary venture that is Blue Origin. From the founding ambitions to the challenges faced, we've delved into the intricate tapestry of space exploration and innovation. Until our next cosmic rendezvous, keep your eyes on the stars, stay curious, and embrace the infinite possibilities that lie beyond our atmosphere. This is Mars Discoveries, signing off, and as always, may your curiosity propel you to new heights.